Hey guys, Rarest here. Uh, so, we're going to talk about a few things, but first off and foremost, what was my league start and why? Well, my league start, which I'm going to leave in the description below, was K Spectre's build. Now, this build I've never really used before. I never really utilized Spectre's. I normally use Bruno's King of All Summoners zombie build. But I wanted to switch it up this time, and it's insanely OP. I was able to farm T7 and T8 on day two with one chaos investment, a plus one uh, minion convoking wand. Insane. Absolutely love it. Why? Why did I pick summoners? Well, I've been using summoners for league starters ever since the rework back in 3.8 Blight, I believe. Um, the new behaviors, the meat shield and the feeding frenzy, insane. And... Instead of scaling with corpse level, you scale with gem level. GGG would have to literally gut minions out of the game in order to nerf them completely. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much why. I'm familiar with summoner builds. I know how they pretty much operate. Uh, they're a little bumpy in the beginning, but once you get to like early 30s, it kind of irons itself out. And it's kind of just smooth sailing all the way to maps and sometimes even past that to some degree. But yeah, I just love summoner builds, period. My impressions on Heist. GGG, thumbs up. You get a gold star for me. Um, it's engaging and straight to the point. They nailed it with this one. Harvest was 50-50 on engaging and 50-50 to none on straight to the point. With Heist, you pick up a contract, you pop a marker, you go to town. You go to Heist Town, you talk to the chick, you start, you you pick who you want to bring with you for your contract, you go in, you grab the loot, you come out, you survive, GG. Easy. Poggers. Now, Heist, or uh, I'm sorry, Harvest, on the other hand, if you wanted to freestyle your garden, that's completely fine. I'm not going to hold that against you. But if you want your OCD to not eat you alive, and you wanted efficiency then you would probably have to follow a spreadsheet and spend a couple hours tweaking and building your farm. And there was a lot to put down. There was a lot. Once you got it up and running, okay. But I feel like building your farm was half the league and then, or like half the mechanic and then like the the fight mechanics were just BS. I mean, I, I didn't do the boss. I didn't do C4s or anything like that. I All I did was C3s, but like, I mean, I just, it just, ugh. I didn't like it. If you are into crafting, Harvest was amazing. If you never wanted to really care and get into crafting, that's why you play a trade league for the most part. Um, it's like you're just playing standard, but you're broke all over again. So, yeah. Um, and I also like that Heist gives you a tutorial, so you kind of it kind of holds your hand a little bit. And once you do it once, you know how to do it. Grand Heist, a little different. I haven't done it yet personally. I've had the opportunity a few times, but I haven't. I will do that tonight, however. But, again, you do it once. You know how to do it. It's done. My goals is to try to hit 36. I'm not too much of a fan of the three helmets. I do like it that it's three helmet choices. So I'm going to give GGG that uh, some variety. The cat, it's cute, a little off-putting, but I like it. It goes with the theme. Um, and then the portal, which I like. It's not my personal favorite. It's not my kind of portal, but it's still good. So two goals, hit 95 and then get 36 challenges complete. Let's talk about the glitches. There's three glitches. The Abyss, Heist, Collision, and then Graphical Errors, Graphical Glitches. Now, um, I know everyone's pretty much dealt with this. Uh, you spawn the Abyss. It travels once, even if that. Sometimes it doesn't even move at all. It spawns its ads, it spawns the uh, the the minions, uh, the 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 monsters. You kill them. They keep spawning. They keep spawning, and the trove doesn't pop. AKA the chest doesn't appear, so you don't get the jewel. That's really why you want to do them is for the jewels. Now my encounter, uh, I spawn two abysses. So I trigger one. It travels once. Two of them pop. Double the monsters. Double the loot. No chest. So it's kind of unfortunate. Now, um, if 
I wouldn't be so mad if the chests were never a thing or if they removed the chest, but keep the two abysses and drop the gems. That's all I got to say. I don't know. Uh, the second bug. This is the big one. Heist. I'm going to consider it a town because it's got body collision. <clears throat> Good on paper. It's poor game design. Good on paper. Poor execution, right? It takes seven people to block the entrance to the heist, and it takes about five to block the chest. It would be different if the chest was in the center of the town where you would need 20 people to block it, a whole 360 radius, but no, it's in the corner. It takes five people to block it. Rip. It's only affected me once. Fun tip. In your hideout, you can actually put the heist locker in your hideout. Just go to edit, decorations, type it in, heist, locker, whatever. It'll pop up. Um, There's only once that I completed a heist and I couldn't access my stash. So I just teleported to my hideout, whatever. Now, um, that's pretty much that. The third thing. It's a few things. Um, I've noticed a lot of black squares pop up on my screen while I'm playing. Uh, you might see some of it in this clip that you're watching right now. Um, it's just weird. It's almost like sometimes part of the map is like always like behind on loading. And sometimes like when you when you're on a map, uh, like the blood aqueducts, for example, sometimes like out in the distance um, where the depths are, it's like black walls up here and stuff. It's really weird. Um, so there's that graphical glitch and then the one that I've encountered and I've been told about, uh, so when you take the chick that disables the doors with the purple beams inside the heist, the door will open, but the purple beams are still there. Now I walked through it and didn't have a problem. I did experience it, but it didn't kill me. My guild member told me, however, when the door opens that there's a chance that those purple beams are still active and they will still kill you. There's a bug for that. Now, for all my hardcore players out there, I'm sorry. You guys already deal with enough. GG. Rip. Sorry. Um, if you encounter that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Black squares randomly appearing. And it's not my graphics card. <laughs> it's not my graphics card. I know that. Um, black squares will appear and the uh, door graphical glitch. Also, there's a third one that I forgot. Um, there was one point when I was with Tibbs, the really tall guy, the the brute. When I, when I stole the goods and I was on my way out, there was a door that I had to lock. But graphically, the door was still open. So just a weird glitch whatever or a bug it's whatever it's not game break it's whatever i don't care um but yeah those are the bugs abyss spa, uh, uh the collision and the graphical errors uh overall how am i feeling i love them i i i i <laughs> not love the glitches but i love heist right eight out of ten honestly i i Really can't complain. I like it because you're not being, you don't feel forced to do it, right? Um, because in Harvest, let's say you're stuck at T10 and you're like, well, I don't have the currency to buy new gear, but I know if I harvest and I utilize it, I can craft a better gear, but I don't like the harvest mechanic, so I don't want to do it. It's tedious, but I could get better. Yeah. It's a, a rinse and repeat cycle where it's just tedious, bad vibes. You don't want to, you don't want to engage in it. And it's just um, a shit show. And I was burnt out after three weeks. I didn't like it. So to some extent, I was, I felt like I was forced to play it because I'm sitting there thinking, well, you know, if I want to get better, if I want my character to get better and I don't have the currency to upgrade, yeah, I have to use it. But anyway, so Overall, I like Heist. Uh, they nailed it. It's engaging and straight to the point. Down below, let me know what you guys leaked started as and why. Or if you would have rather chose... Oh, I almost died there, <laughs> by the way. Um, let me know if you would have rather picked a different build to leak start with. And yeah, did you get any lucky drops? I actually got an Exile at, like, at the end of day two. So I was like, oh, well, this is... Actually, no, I'm sorry. It was... The end of day one, going into day two, I got an exalt. So it was like, oh, GG. So, yeah. But with that being said, guys, I'm Rare6, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.